So guys, hope you're staying safe and hope you're having a good day. Today we are going to do another FIFA 20 player review on Ultimate Team. Last time out you guys enjoyed the Joe Jackson one I did and I thank you for the support on that. And today we're going to do um, this centre back called Rossi from Saudi Arabia League. And some of you might be thinking uh, and that is exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. Now if you do enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe and hit notifications so you do know um, when my videos are out. I'm going to try and do like one or two every week, but make sure... Just before we get into the rest of the video guys, make sure you go and check out uh, my, my sister's new channel called Where To. There'll be a link in the description of this video. Go subscribe to it, go check out our, new, our first video sorry, that we've done. We're doing lots of song covers. And we've done our first cover, so hopefully you enjoy that. And go and comment on what. So for this review, I'm going to do it a bit differently. Last time on the Jacobson review, I just showed you some highlights from the game and the team I was using. And I feel like I want to properly show you the stats of the card and how you can really the best you can in the game. So firstly, I'm going to show you the stats of the card and what I think is really good about this card so obviously first of all the thing that sort of jumps out is his physical really good strength and good stamina so he can last the whole game which is what he want and then also for defending being 86 is really good now his heading accuracy is 94 um which is good because he's a six foot two pair which i'm going to show you in a second dribbling's all right passing sort of irrelevant for a centre back but the passing can be good in some situations and then the pace I'll come on to in a little bit. In terms of his other details you've got how he sits for it too like I said so really good height to wing headers at the back and then in terms of his um, work rate um, you've got medium medium for attacking defensive which is all right and then his preferred foot is left and then weak foot two star skill moves two star which isn't really relevant for a centre back. Now the other thing about this on the screen you'll be able to see that I brought in for 12,000 coins which is one of the reasons I wanted to do this review because he is a cheap card for his sats. Obviously it'll be hard to link him but for, for players who don't have perhaps the budget to get like your Virgil van Dijk's, um, your Varangs and all that, you, this is a great card to start off if you can get the links to him. Now going back onto the pace side of it, obviously his pace isn't as high as most players who like four centre back um, in this day of FIFA. And I'd say the one solution to that would be chemistry souls. Now there's plenty of chemistry souls that can boost his rating to like 90 plus, etc. But I'd say for chemistry souls who do want Arthur Wines with pace, I've the reason I put an engine up, but I'd say some of the other good ones are, for example, Guardian, that's a good one. If you have the coins, a Shadow, but they are a lot of coins. With, it would boost his um, pace to about 77, I think. But it's only if you really need to put it on his card. You'll see in the game that I do later how good his pace is. Um, now, in terms of links you can have in a team, Obviously, the one that jumps out at you is just having a Brazilian team. Also, it would be hard to link players in the Saudi League. You could have a strong link to Maicon. Also, he's got a team for season in the Saudi League, 87 rated. So, you could have that strong link, but it would just be really hard to link the Saudi players to get a really good team out of it, unless you've got most of the Saudi team for seasons, if you get me. So, this is the team I've built of. It's mainly Brazilian, except from Nelson Semedo right back, linking to Rafinha and Eden Militao. And the, the thing I'd say, if you don't have a chemistry soul, which really boosts his pace significantly on um, Rossi, is I'd say you need a pacey centre back, depending on what formation you play. Um, I think that's crucial. That's why I put Eden Militao in around 80 pace. And that will cover in if Rossi does get caught out on the pace.
Do you remember how you held me then? Now you got me reaching out Do you see you got me falling in More times than I can 